Good evening, friends, Romans and countrymen. And welcome in the Scorpion voice from Mortal Kombat. Welcome, welcome to the films that I've watched this week. The weather is turning, it's going mild. But what happens when it, at least in this part of the world, what happens when it goes mild? It pisses it down. We've had a lot of rain, even though some parts of the country, even now, are having a drought. Do you believe it? Anyway, the films that I watched this week, let's begin. From 1992, Patriot Games. A Tom Clancy book that I've never read. Um, 1992, Harrison Ford's in it, Sean Bean's in it as an Irishman. Um, Harrison Ford is Jack Ryan, he stops a terrorist attack, um, and then they swear revenge on him. They think it's the IRA, it's a splinter group, radicals in the IRA, and comes together to give us this film. Decent watch, a 7 out of a 10. My letterbox said I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Then a film I completely forgot about, and it was Wrong Turn, the new, new one from 2021, from the same guy that wrote the original Wrong Turn, you know, with the weird hillbilly cannibals, um, Elijah Dushku's in it. I like that one. I have a soft spot for it. I do like it. This one. You have no cannibals. What you have is a cult instead. It's basically a cult. They're called the Foundation. Um, our group of young people are annoying as fuck, up themselves, arsy, prickish, at a point where you want them to die. It's not overly gory. It's, it is like a 21st... No, that's wrong, 21st century. It's like a modern retelling that is tamer nowhere near as interesting nowhere near as enjoyable and t t some of the dialogue like the in this cafe or this bar and the the rednecks of the town say go home but you've never worked a day in your life oh i'm so and so i deal in property it's like you don't speak to these people like that but it was tame it was two hours nearly it's too long too long and the foundation felt like normal people like you could be sitting next to one in a cafe and the end of the film um validated me because they're just sitting in a house um it's dog shit i can think of no redeeming qualities for it other than cinematography it was decent some of the acting was okay there was a, maybe one decent trap, but there's not as many of them. So I give it a high score of a one. And that's out of ten. It was utter dog shit. Pointless pile of shit. Didn't like it one bit. Just why have you made this? I get it you want to go in a different direction. But make that direction interesting. To me this wasn't. And it was a pile of dog shit. Now on to something slightly better from 1989, Shirley Valentine. Pauline Collins is Shirley Valentine. Liverpool housewife, life's a bit mundane. So she goes to Greece with a friend, has a little bit of a romance and decides to stay there. A nice film to watch. The drab first half in Britain, in Liverpool, to the beautiful weather and everything that Greece gives you. I give it a six. I didn't mind that at all. I really didn't. Um, it was, as I say, just a nice film to watch. A six out of ten. Then, Shaun of the Dead. I do enjoy that. It's grown on me over the years. I do enjoy it. Everyone knows Shaun of the Dead. I'm sure they do. Just like everyone knows. The Rescuers. The Rescue Aid Society. Two mice go to the Devil's Bayou to save a kid who's been held hostage by a 
gruesome woman with two pet crocodiles. A lot of fun. I gave Shaun of the Dead an 8 and the Rescuers a 7. Then I watched Hot Fuzz, which unlike Shaun of the Dead, I've liked since I first saw it. Timothy Dalton steals every single scene that he's in. A lot of fun. Highly enjoyable. That also gets an 8. Then I finished off that the Cornetto trilogy with The World's End. I don't own that one. Um, not quite as, as good as the other two. Um, a group of friends get together. They haven't seen each other for years. They're all different. They've all gone their separate ways. And Simon Pegg gets them together to do the Golden Mile 12 pub, pub crawl. And then there's aliens with blue blood around. Um, decent just not up to the the standard or the enjoyment of the other so i give that one a seven um a solid trilogy though and then from 2015 a film i've seen once called room brie larson jacob tremblay um i think everyone knows this film they're in this room just it's a garden shed they've been trapped there they're prisoners there some guy comes in I think every night and that that room is their world i'm sure we've all seen it we all know what it is but i think it's a fantastic film i i shed i didn't shed a tear did i shed a tear yes i did i did in certain moments of this and i give it a nine out of a ten room 2015 just very good from top to bottom i thought unlike this one which is I've seen some people like it. It's from 2021. Um, the thumbnail gives it away to this video. Black, The Black Phone. Um, this kid gets kidnapped, put in a basement. Soundproof, and there's an old phone on the wall. Starts to ring, and the kid talks to, seems to talk to previous victims of this grabber who kidnaps people with a black van, a top hat, and black balloons. But it did nothing for me. I didn't see any tension in this film. It didn't. There was no scares in it. No psychological. Nothing for me. I just found it to be very, very bland. And I give it a five out of ten. Don't get what all the fuss is about. So there we have it. Then, from nineteen eighty-five, the Black Cauldron, based on some books, I believe. Um, you got. The Horned King, voiced wonderfully by John Hurt, um, wants to get the Black Cauldron to take over the world. You've got this pig that can see visions and stuff like that. It's it's in the area of the Forgotten Disney animation stuff, but I probably enjoyed it more than I ever have. I give it a no. I don't give it a nine. I give it a seven out of a ten from ninety. Oh, from nineteen eighty-five. Then from 2002, Treasure Planet. Basically, Treasure Island in space, science fiction. Um, and since I read Treasure Island last year, I enjoyed this more this time. Um, it looks spectacular. 3D CG animation with 2D stuff. It's a great, a great big, bold, big adventure. And I enjoyed this the most that I ha ever have done. And I give that also a 7 out of a 10. Also from another period of Disney's forgotten films. Where things like Chicken Little and Meet the Robinson and stuff like that come out. But I liked it. I really did enjoy it. I give that a 7 out of 10. And that is everything that I've watched this week. So, thank you for watching, people. <clears throat> As a YouTube legend and a friend often says, comments are welcome. <laughs>